Hey guys, and welcome to a new video in this C++ tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about file handling in C++, and we're going to talk about like how we can open up a file and how we can close file, and when we have created a new file, how can we read and write to that file and do a lot of different kind of stuff with file handling. So first of all, I'm going to go over like uh, different kind of examples on file handling and how it works in C++, and then at the end of the video, I'm going over some code examples on how we can open up a file and then read and write from it. And then close it after we have been uh, we are, we're done uh, operating with it. So first of all, we're going to talk about like the basic stuff of file handling and how file handling works in C++. So first of all, we have this input output um, stream base here, and then we have the input output stream here. So we have different kind of input output streams in in C++, where the, one of them is the input stream. So we can only get like the inputs from the streams, and we can also have the output stream, and then we can also have a combine which both combines the input and the output stream which is of course called the IO stream. And then under the IO stream, we have this F stream uh, class here or, or like subclass here, which we're going to include uh, in our program when we're going to operate with files in C++. So we can either have this off stream here, uh, which can only output uh, to files or the if stream here, which can only read from, uh, read from files. And then we can combine them both and have, the, have this F stream here where we can both like do input and output stream um, in C++. So first of all, here in the off stream, we can create and write to a file. In the if stream, we can only write from the file from from a file. And if stream, we can both create, read, and write to the files. So when we're talking about file handling in C++, we have different kind of like access for the files. So we have some different kind of member constants over here, which we have to um, define when we're going to uh, create or like open a new file. Then we can define some of these member constants over here and tell tell like our Tell, the, tell like our function what to do with the, that file we are going to open or create. So we have some different kind of mem members constants here where we can use some of them like for example like input and output which is the which is the default. So it stands for input and output and we can see that there here is a short description of like what the access does. So the input member constant here does uh, file open for reading, the internal stream um, buffer supports input operations. So the internal stream was the buffer was uh, was the streams that we talked about uh, on the previous slides, and we can both have that for input and output, where we can also have this output here that's just like a, f a file open for writing. So we can write to the file uh, with the output, and again we have this internal stream buffer here uh, that supports output operations. And then we can also have some other different kind of memory constant, like for example. Uh, app or uh, truncate and, and stuff like that. So if we want a file and we have already created a file and we just want to like append the output um, that we like the things we're going to output to a file, we want to append that to the to the content that that they are already in the file. Then we can use this app uh, member constant here. So it says that all output operations happen at the end of the file, appending to its existing content. So we don't want to erase or delete the files that we that we're working with or like the things that are already contained in that file. We can just use this append uh, app uh, member constant here, and we can append um, what we want to append to the file. Or we can use truncate here, which just uh, like any content that existed in the file before it is opened or discarded. So if we want to like ha open a new file, uh, discard everything that is in the file, and we want to um, output the new things we want to uh, the, to output to the file, we can then use this truncate here, and we will have a, a, a clean new file. So we can use these member constants for a lot of different kind of things and we specify these member constants when we are opening up the file in, um, in the constructor. So we also have some special operations in the file. So when we're working with a file uh, and we're inside a file, we have opened it, we have some different kind of operations. So we can, for example, like get, if we use this function here, tell p, it will, it will like uh, tell the, the current position of the put pointer or if it can be tell g, it will, it will tell like the current position of the get pointer. So if we're like, for example, we're outputting or inputting, like inputting or, or reading or writing from uh, from a file, then for example, if we're if we're writing to a file, then we can tell it like, we can get the position at, at in the file where we're going to read or write to. So we can like specify a specific point in our file that we either want to read from or um, or write to. So that can that can be really good for some different kind of applications and some different scenarios. And we also have some other different kind of uh, functions here where we have put and get if we just want to to read or write a single character from a file or to a file. And these CG here it moves it moves the put pointer to mention location. So if we want to specify exactly where in a file we want we want to modify it or or output or write something to it, 
then we can also do this um, by using this function here um, on our file. And then we have to specify like when, when we're using the seek p and the seek g here, we need uh, three reference pointers that are passed. So we can either like pass these parameters here, like for the beginning of the file, the current position in the file, or at the end of the file. Uh, and then we can uh, modify the files and, and read and write from it just as we want to. So, so now we have this uh, file ex uh, handling Samsung here, example here that we're going to apply in code. So we have a text file here where I have some different kind of text in it. And then we're going to read that. And we're gonna, first of all, we're going to open up the file in C++. Then we're going to read the content of this file into C++. And then we can do whatever we want to with it in C++. And I'm also going to show you an example on how we can output some stuff from C++ to a file or erase a file and, and create a new file. So, so we're now doing the Sublime Sist here and I'm going to show you some different kind of examples of how we can do with file handling in uh, C++. So first of all, we're going to include the fstream library here where, where we can both do, uh, do reading from a file and also write, write, write to a file. So if we only specify the iStream or the OStream, we could either like only do one of them. But we have the fstream here because we want to do both uh, write to a file and read from a file. So first of all, here we're going to uh, we're going to write to a file. So we, to open up a file that we're going to write to, uh, we need to call this keyword here stream because we're, we're going to um, to output to the to the to the to the to the, uh, to the stream here, and then we specify the name of the file that we're going to operate with in C++ code here, and then the parameter that it takes or like the um, the parameter here we need to specify is the is the name of the output file um, that we want to operate with. So if this file already exists in our path to the, to the, like the, to the program here, then it will just open up the text file. Um, but if, if it doesn't exist, we need to create it first and this function will create it uh, by itself uh, as well. So when we have to specify this line here and it runs, it will either, in this case here, it will create a new uh, file and then it will open up the file so we can operate or and do, uh, do modifications on it uh, here in C++. So to write to the file, we, we just specify like the, the, the name here of the file. And then we use this um, two, like, um, two operators here uh, as we do when we're going to see out something to a terminal. And then we just specify what we want to output or write to that file here. So in this case, we want to output the code in the library. And then we could either like specify go to a new line and or re, uh, write something else out or, or write numbers out or and stuff like that. So we can just specify what we want to write out with this operator here and then to the file that we want to, to write to. And then when we're done operating with a file and modifying our, our file, we need it is really important that we close the file as well because if we're not closing the file and we're somewhere else in a program trying to open up the same file or, or something else, then it will throw an error because we're trying to open up a file that is already open. And then we, if we do modifications on that or, or somewhere else, like it will just mess up our file. So it's really important that we close the file after uh, being done with doing our modification on it. So if we hit Control B here, it will it will like output. It will first create the file, and then it will write the coding library to the file. So if I go into the directory or like the path where my program is, then we can see it has, it has now created this uh, output file here. And if I open the output file here, we can see that at the first line in the text document here, it just it has just like written out the coding library as I specified um, in this line of code here. So we can see that it has indeed. It has indeed created the file and opened it and then um, written this uh, line, of, uh, line of code here, uh, like this line here uh, to the file and it had closed it again. So this is like how we can uh, write to a file in C++. So we can also like, um, we can also read from a file. So if you have like, for example, created a text file or some um, other file where we're going to read something in from, then first of all, we're going to uh, specify like uh, the string here where we're going to store uh, the things that we're going to read in from a file. And then we use this if stream here because we're going to use the input stream um, in C++. And then we need to specify again um, the file or like the file name that we're going to operate with here in C++. And then we pass the per uh, parameter or like pass the like um, the name of the file that we're going to operate with. So in this case here, we're going to read from the text file dot text here um, in the on, on the in, on the input stream. So, and then after that, when we, when we have opened up, this will open up the file here, and then we're able to read from the file here that we have opened. And to get the lines that, that, that are like containing, like that are, that are in the file, we need to have this while loop here that just goes through all the lines. So this line of code here, it just like, we use a while loop together with the get line function uh, to read the file line by line. 
So this get line here will get the first line in the text file. So we specify uh, the file that we want to read from and then uh, the string that we want to store um, the store that line of text that we've written in or like uh, uh, written in from um, from our text file and to the, to, the, uh, to the variable here and then we can just see out this variable here that we, that we have been uh, reading in from our file or like from our text file here. So for example, I'm just going to show you the text file um, as I did in the slides here. So the text file here is just this with uh, five lines of uh, sentences here and then we're going to read in um, all the sentences one by one uh, or like all the lines one by one. So the first line will be hello and the second one welcome to the coding library and so on. So we read in line by line with this get line here and then we just see out what we read in line by line. So if I control B here again, um, we can see down here in the terminal or in the, in the output that it will print out all the things that, that were in the file. And we can see that it, it has printed all, all, out all the five lines and, and all the text that was contained in the text file. And then after we've been uh, reading in the text file, um, we can close the file again um, and do a lot of different kind of stuff with a text file here. We could have, like, for example, have a vector containing all, all the text um, that we've uh, written in from, um, from our text file and do some different kind of modifications. Or if we had, like, for example, a CSV file or some numbers that we wanted to read in from, uh, from a file, then we can also do that and store it in some kind of container and then do operations with that or and modifications. Um, and yeah, so that's how we can use um, file handling in C++ and it can be used for some a lot of different kind of uh, practical examples where we can have, for example, matrices or some, some different kind of data that we're going to read into our program and then do modifications or uh, something else that you want to do for your application. So thank you guys for watching this video and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification on the video. And also like the video if you like the content and you want more of it in the future. If you want to apply some of these things that you learned in this tutorial in C++, um, for some more practical examples, I'm also doing a computer vision tutorial um, in C++ with OpenCV and also an algorithm and data structure tutorial in C++. So I'll link to one of them up here so you can check that out if you want to and, and want to try to apply some of these things that you learn in this tutorial. So go check one of them those out or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.